Hi guys, it's Alicia Darlene here. I wanted to do a video about what to bring to the hospital when you are planning on having your baby. I was asked to do this uh, video, so I'm pretty excited to get ready for you guys. Um, I'm a new mom. I'm also a new breastfeeding mom. Uh, they have four months. She's actually right here doing some tummy time. She might roll over. So if you hear some baby noises, it's Avea. She is with me during this video. So we are pumped to do this video for you guys. If this is beneficial, oh my gosh, she is just talking up a storm now. So if, we, if this video is beneficial for you, please like and subscribe to my channel. It just helps me to do more videos for you guys. So let's get started. So with to make this a little bit easier, I actually made a checklist and I'm going to leave the description um, how to get it just to download it really easy so after this video and you're packing your bags you can kind of check everything off so I, I'm gonna leave that in the description um, how to download that it's just super super easy I'll send it to your email <laughs> oh my goodness Avea do you want to come talk you want to come talk hi guys I'm back sorry so Avea was just talking up a storm and she wanted to play so I just gave her to daddy so I could finish this video for you guys so Let's get started. So I'm a brand new mom. I have Avea. She just turned, well, she's four months. She's almost five. So I just went through this whole thing. And um, I'm just going to show you exactly what I brought in my hospital bag to help you guys, you know, be a little bit more prepared when it's your guys' turn to go to the hospital. Um, so let's get started right away. So I'm first going to start with what you need to bring to the hospital for your baby. So this is what I personally brought to you. So we're going to start out with just the newborn stuff. So I have some newborn onesies. I have a long sleeve here just because it kind of gets a little bit cold in the hospital. These ones are really cool because the long sleeves can kind of fold over and they also turn into little mittens here in case your baby is scratching um, at their face, you know, with their fingernails. So this one's kind of cool because it kind of um, is both. It's a onesie and the mittens. So long sleeve onesie. Also some little pants that are the newborn size. You want to bring some socks because it does get cold in the hospital. So you want to bring some little socks for your baby. And this little hat, you can bring a hat. This one we brought just because it was a handmade hat for us, but the hospital will provide um, a little hat, the ones like the pink and the blue stripes on them. So you can bring that too, or you can bring one if you want to. And then you also want to bring a take home outfit. So this is like something like we brought this is a, just a cute little onesie that you want to take them home in. So there is that. If you do have some sleepers, some long sleeve sleepers, either the zip up or the button ups, you can bring those too. And then the next thing you want to do is bring a swaddle blanket. So these are the ones that are kind of a little bit like scratchy. They're not the super, super soft ones, but they're really big and they're used just for swaddling at night. So you can have your nurse midwife or doctor show you how to swaddle the baby so when you get home you are feel comfortable doing it and you feel confident doing it on your own so you can bring a swaddle blanket and then the next thing is just like a bigger blanket that you can you know cuddle in you can wrap her in if it's cold in there you can also put this over the car seat if you're on your way home uh, you just want to bring like a little bit bigger of a blanket so that's all the stuff you need for your baby um so there is that the next thing I'm going to talk about is if you're planning on breastfeeding. So if you're planning on breastfeeding, you can bring something like this, the boppy pillow, or what I like to bring is uh, my breast friend pillow. For me, I like that one a little bit better just because it helps with my posture and is a little bit more stable than the boppy. But either way, it works. Um, if you don't bring this just because it's just another thing to bring and it's kind of bulky, um, they have plenty of pillows there at the hospital, so it's not a big like huge major thing that you need, but you can get comfortable with nursing. So you gotta put this around you and then nurse your baby like this. So you can totally bring this if you want to, if you have one. Okay, the next thing is nursing pads. So this is just a full box of nursing pads. Please don't bring this whole box. You don't need that many, but when you open it up, it's just gonna be a couple of nursing pads like this. And you just wanna throw a couple of those in your bag just so they are ready to go personally i like the cloth nursing pads more than the disposable nursing nursing pads just because uh they're just more comfortable and i feel like they don't really stick as much so that's just my opinion but whatever works for you if you've got some bring them the next thing is 
your actual pump. So if you got one already or you got one for your baby shower, I would definitely say to bring it. But before you bring it, you definitely want to be familiar with how it works before you get to the hospital. Because if you don't know how it works, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed trying to figure out latching and your baby and the pump. And it's just a little bit overwhelming. So this is just one thing you can do before you get to the hospital is learn how to use your pump. So this is just my Medela pump. This one, you know, it has a bunch of fixtures, the power cord, the tubes here, you know, you have to bring your flanges, your bottle, all that good stuff. So just make sure that you know how to use it properly, like I said, and bring all of that with you. For me, I didn't have actually have to bring it. Um, the hospital gave me one while I was there. So that was a blessing that I was able to just get one with my insurance. So if that's the case for you with your insurance, then... Awesome. So you don't have to bring that, but maybe look over some videos on how to use the Medela pump or Spectra or whatever pump that you're getting. Just kind of familiarize with it. Okay. Then the next part is what to bring for yourself. So first of all, I'm going to start with just like a weekender bag or a gym bag, something like that looks like this. Just pretty much a bag that you would bring with you if you're staying at somebody's house or like a hotel or something like that. So just bring like a bag with plenty of pockets and lots of room. So first of all, you want to bring some grippy socks. So these ones have like the really good grips because you're going to be walking around the hospital in your room or down the hallway or anything like that. And you want to have some good grippy on your socks. So that's number one. Number two is bring some cute slippers. This is also just to make yourself more comfortable while you're staying there. And walking around of course so that is the next one is some cute slippers and then the next thing is flip-flops or shower shoes so you're going to be taking showers there obviously and you want to i'm sure that they clean the showers really really nice at the hospital but i also just like to have these on uh just for support and you know also more cleanliness so bring some flip-flops or shower shoes with you okay so the next one is a journal so this journal i pretty much wrote down everything i needed so i have preterm labor signs in here i have active signs of labor just like a whole bunch of stuff that i would be completely prepared um and organized so this is why i did it this way i also have my birth plan in here so if you have a written birth plan make sure you have it ready to go um just an organized way you know where everything is or in case anybody needs to grab it for you they know exactly where you put it so i have just a bunch of stuff in here i have scriptures and a whole bunch of stuff so put anything that makes you feel comfortable in your journal anything that you want to write down it's also cool to be able to write stuff down in your journal while you're at the hospital too or after you just gave birth how like how you feel your feelings emotions all that crazy good stuff so also i wrote down essential oils that helped me um, if you're not big on essential oils, that's completely okay. I have essential oils on the checklist as an optional option. So you can totally do that if you want. But what I brought with me to the hospital was lavender and peppermint oil. So lavender really helped with just calming my nerves. And once, you know, the labor started, I was trying to just relax and soothe. And, um, the lavender helped with that. So I put it on my nose, my neck, my wrist, and I was able to just kind of breathe it in and try to relax. Um, it kind of gave like put me like a spa like mood I guess so that really helped me was like the lavender um I also brought peppermint oil so this is what they look like in here so the peppermint helped with nausea so if it's something that you think you might be dealing with after having the baby or during the peppermint is really awesome it helps with nausea right away and uh it kind of just lifts your spirits and makes, puts you in like a good mood so those are the two essential oils that I brought and then your journal so you want to have that ready to go also okay the next thing is snacks so I just have two granola bars here but I brought granola bars you can bring jerky nuts seeds uh fruit anything that you want to have at your disposal right away that you don't have to bug a loved one to get you or you don't have to call the kitchen staff to get you something you just have it already ready to go if you want to munch on something right away um you don't have to pay for anything it was already in your bag so snacks is a big one uh the next one 
I have is gum because I absolutely really, really wanted gum when I was at the hospital. I had my mom go run down to the gift shop and get me some gum. Um, so that was a big one for me. You can do gum or mouthwash, anything like that to kind of keep your breath fresh. So this is something that I really would pack again for sure. And then I'm going to go over to what the hospital provides you with. So these are not the prettiest things in the world, but this is really what you're going to be getting. It's going to be something like this. It is mesh underwear. So they're going to be super stretchy. They're going to be throwaway. So you don't have to bring a whole bunch of underwear because you will be getting something like this no matter what. If you're doing a C-section or vaginal birth, it's gonna you're going to be getting these nice stretchy underwear. It's not the prettiest in the world, but they're going to be helpful then. So they'll also provide big maxi pads. Um, you can bring your own or you can use theirs. So this is like the hospital ones that they gave me, and these are the ones that I brought myself. As you can see, these ones are going to be a lot bigger. So you can order these ones or just wait for the hospital. They'll get them. They'll give them to you there too. So that's what they're going to be bringing you. You will also get diapers and wipes for the baby. You don't have to bring those. You probably don't have to bring a hair dryer. They'll provide that too. Um, and then the underwear and pads for yourself. Okay, so let's keep going. This is another one for the nursing moms. This is a nursing bra. So you definitely want to have these along with some nursing tops and tanks if you're planning on breastfeeding. So you don't have to like, you know, take your whole shirt off or your gown or anything like that. You're pretty much covered up except for your breast. So this is a nursing bra. You want to make sure you know how it works before you get there. So this is the bra. This is the little straps here. If you unstrap it, there's the part where your breast will show and then you can breastfeed and just snap it back. So get familiar with your nursing bra before you get to the hospital too. Make sure that it fits you. Make sure you know how to use it. It's comfortable, all that good stuff because even this might be a little bit overwhelming if you don't know how to exactly use it before you get there. So nursing bras, tanks, shirts, anything like that. I also have some comfy pajamas that you want to bring. So these ones are a button down, button down pajamas. So I can also nurse in these ones too. So that just made it really easy, comfy pajamas that are you're able to nurse in because you will probably be nursing every hour to two hours. All right, and then these are just the matching shorts, but you want to make sure they're super stretchy because you do not want to be any uh, uncomfortable, any restrictions, anything like that. You just want to be comfy. So the bigger, the better, honestly just so you're nice and comfy. So then for you, you also have a home outfit. So just something cute. This one says mommy in all day. So just something that you're gonna feel comfortable with going home in, so that. And then you also wanna bring some like leggings or shorts, but you wanna make sure that they're dark because you probably will be bleeding. So you just wanna make sure that they're like black leggings or something like that for your bottoms. Okay, the next thing is some walking shoes. So you're gonna be wanting to get out of the hospital room, walking down the hospital hallways as soon as you can. And it's gonna be better for you too. Your nurse, midwife, doctor is gonna be telling you to get up and get moving as quickly as you can. So you wanna bring some good, comfy, stable um, walking shoes, but also that have like the good grip so you don't fall. So pack those. And then you also want to have a charger so the charger can go with your phone because it'll probably be there for a couple days so bring that also you want to bring a camera or you can use the camera that's on your iphone i bought like an expensive camera thinking i was going to take all these professional looking wonderful pictures with my brand new camera and i brought it and i never used it because i didn't know how to use it and my phone was just easy and i was able to just swipe up and take a picture real quick so just bring whatever is comfortable for you if you want to bring a camera Obviously, just make sure you know how to use it, bring the batteries and all that stuff too. So your phone, then you want to bring your purse or your wallet. So whatever you use to carry, like your cash, all that stuff. So just in your purse or wallet, you want to make sure that you have your credit card, your ID, cash, and your insurance card. So those are like the biggies that you absolutely need to bring. Obviously, you probably will have them with you, but just that's a big thing that you don't want to forget is that. And then I also have my water bottle here. I bring this everywhere I go. So just something that uh, will keep you drinking and stay hydrated. So bring your water bottle. And then the last thing that you need is to have your car seat. 
So your car seat needs to be installed, the car seat and the base need to be installed in your vehicle and just get familiar with how that works before you get to the hospital. You don't want to be installing the car seat at the hospital parking lot. That's a no way you want to do that. So make sure that you have that prepared already too, that you and your partner know exactly how to use that and um, that you're not doing that at the hospital. They won't let you take the baby home if you do not have the car seat installed, which is completely understandable. So just definitely have all that. Um, oh, I missed the stuff over here. Okay, so the next thing is a robe. So just like a comfy, comfy robe. This one has says mom on it. So you wanna have that just so you can cover up nicely um, just because you're gonna be in your hospital gown and stuff. So a comfy robe straightener anything that you have to do your hair because you want to be you know looking cute when you take those photos for instagram and facebook so bring your straightener curling iron combs anything like that to do your hair and then your toiletries so pretty much anything that you would need if you're staying at a hotel or something like that anything that for yourself so shampoo conditioner i would probably bring the travel size ones these are just the ones that i brought because of what i had but if you have time to go to the store you can bring the travel size shampoo and conditioner, razors, deodorant, hair tie clips for your hair, bobby pins, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, and then I also have some makeup removers wipes just so I wouldn't have to bring the makeup remover and the cotton balls. I just grabbed the wipes. So anything that makes you feel comfortable is what you want to bring to the hospital just because it'll feel so much better having your own stuff there and... The showers are going to be amazing. They're going to feel amazing once you're done with giving birth to your baby. So definitely bring all that stuff. So baby stuff, nursing stuff is up if that's what you're working on. And then the stuff for yourself. So just bring anything else that you think would be beneficial. So some optional stuff on my checklist is like an eye mask, noise machine, essential oils, heating pads, stuff like that, that you can bring if you absolutely feel like you need to or if you have room. Um, you can bring your own pillow, your own blanket, stuff like that too. Um, but this is just the stuff that you, I felt like you absolutely needed. The toiletries, the nursing stuff, the journal, the water bottle, you know, all that stuff is what I personally brought for myself, my family, my baby. Um, so I hope this video helped you. I know it's a lot of stuff to go over. That's why I made a checklist for you too. So when you start packing, I would probably start packing once you hit 32 weeks just so everything is ready to go. You can keep it in your room. I kept mine just in my room on the dresser. It was ready to go as soon as um, we went to the hospital. I didn't have to get anything else, um, but you can leave it in your car. If not, you can leave it somewhere that if you, if a loved one has to come to your house and grab it, you can tell them it's in my gray Adidas bag and everything is in there. You just have to go home and grab that. So just have it all, you know, consolidated and ready to go. So with the checklist, like I said, it's a lot of stuff right now, it seems like, but with the checklist, you can start packing everything and just check everything off as you go. And then you can circle the things that you need to go get from the store still. But I hope that this helped you. I tried to make it a little organized with the checklist. So like I said, I'll leave the link in the description how to get the checklist. All you have to do is um, put in your email and then I'll send it to you easy, just like that. So like and subscribe to my channel if this video was beneficial for you. I really hope it is. I also want to congratulate you on being a new mom. Even if you're not a new mom, just congratulations on your new baby. That's why you're watching this video so you won't know what to bring for both of you guys. So just congrats and please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon.